quality light. There is no photography without light. And if there was no light, there would be no photography. And it doesn't really matter how good or how bad your camera is, how pretty the model, how impressive the landscape. If the light is wrong, then the picture will be dull and boring. However, if the light is right, then the picture is interesting and lively. Quality light is not about hard light or soft light. It is all about the balance between what you're trying to portray and what type of light has been applied to that portrait. Now, some of the people I meet keep saying that there are no rules in photography. Well, they are all wrong because photography is all about the rules of physics, the laws of nature. And there's nothing we can do about it. However, we have all the liberty in applying those rules the way we want. And that's where the no rule statement comes in. But it is important to understand the light, to be able to read the light. And then you can create, control, and apply the light. And in this video, we will be talking about all these methods. Before we dive into that, I'd like to give you one example. There is this gorgeous model which is walking into the studio and she wants to have a portrait, a glamorous portrait to be taken. I could take the picture with hard light, but hard light is very contrast rich and it will amplify all the small skin imperfections. It would take me days to clean that up in post-processing. And after all, the shadows would be very sharp and very well defined. And that's not really glamorous for a beauty shot. If I was to use soft light, then the skin would be smooth as silk. Soft light is contrast low and it does not amplify details. And that's why soft light would create that glamorous look for that model. On the other hand, I could have a hockey player in the studio and that's kind of a rough guy. He has scars on his face, he has a beard. So maybe for that guy, I would like to apply a hard light because the hard light will emphasis, will amplify all these imperfections. It will amplify the scar on his face and it will make him look even more rough. And that's exactly what I wanted to get. So. If I was to apply a soft light on the ice hockey player, I wouldn't see any of that and details would kind of disappear and it really wouldn't work. So as you have seen, I have on the one hand soft light that is quality light for my glamour shot and I have hard light which is quality light for my hockey player. And I even might want to combine both. I could have a good looking model which I want to give this silky looking skin but yet the dress i want to have all the details in the dress i want to have a very contrast rich the dress so i would combine hard light and soft light the hard light on the dress and the soft light would illuminate the skin and in that specific case both hard light and soft light are my quality lights in that picture there's many more things to be said about light and i will go through all this in the next videos